Hi, it's Evan Rowe with the Rolls Piano System. We have a 107 Young Chang upright piano and stuff. It's a small one, it's what they call sometimes a European style. I don't know why, but in Europe it's very common, so maybe that's why it's made in Asia. And the style has no front leg, but it's stable. They put more weight in the back, I believe, to make it stable. But there are stable pianos in Europe, it's the main design. Anyway, so it has this interesting feature here, which is a prop stick, and it has like a, heart, a diagonal line. And it's quite, in my opinion, I find it quite elegant. You get an open sound, but then it depends on your interests and depends on your preference. Um, there is some damage on the cabinet. There's some chip here, which we need to fit in and color in. And there's small chippings on the cabinet, so we're gonna price it accordingly and try and touch it up best we can. There's also a key here, which is chipped. And there's a burnt key here. So that key needs to be replaced, and maybe the neighboring key and this chip needs to be replaced as well. Um, there are some small chips on the cabinet, uh, like this here, which I don't believe we can improve too much. Just cut her in, maybe. That's the condition. Let's listen to the piano. This one is not level. See that this key here is bent to the, to the right hand side. It's kind of twisted. We need to untwist that one. We need to straighten it. There's a lot of wobbling in the keys. I feel like when I'm playing, there's a lot of lost motion. So it needs to correct that. Um, let's have a look inside at the condition of the action. I think it's a good piano. It's a small piano, small, small profile. Before I take off the front, I need to take off the lid, which just pops out like so. As a piano tuner, you can edit this out. All right, now you can talk. Originally, as a piano tuner, I couldn't work out how to take off those lids, so I still unscrew them, but you just have to pop it out of the hinges. Um, so, I need some cleaning for sure. Uh, and, uh, the previous owner was a pilot. He was a young pilot, so it was an interesting chap to talk to. This this um, this top felt here is aesthetically not very pleasing. We might change it, but it doesn't. It's just aesthetics. It's not the piano itself. So if we can find a felt that will replace that, the hammer is uh, relatively worn, but they're still in good shape. They have the original shape, so just the very surface wear, if anything. And the tapes. I noticed the tapes. They are in good condition, so it's good. And just a lot of regulation, like the let off, it's not too bad. Um, and the key height's not too bad. It's more in the keys that the work needs to be done than, than the action itself. And there is a buzz, there's a buzzing noise. Let off's actually quite good. Back checks is not bad. chip keys, we're preparing this key, and then just more tuning, more fine tuning, and it's got a mellow sound, it's not gonna, we can't change the mellow sound, it's the character of the piano. A very small uh, tone difference in the break point here. That's the it's just the character of the piano. Yeah, 
welcome to come and try this piano. We're here at Robert's Pianos Houston. Thanks for watching this video. Be happy to meet you in person and show you the piano in person. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.